Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions? So let's jump right in for Pisces. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Pisces regarding love, relationships um, at this time for Pisces. What is Pisces? need to know spirit what does pisces need to know regarding love what does pisces need to know let's start with what's going on in your connection between you and the person that you're interested in or deal with spirit what is going on in the connection between pisces and this other person regarding this connection oh, i got two Ace of Wands. I wonder if I should just pick it up like this. Two of Swords. Okay. So there could be um serious indecision. Like I'm thinking about someone that literally goes back and forth from one day to the other. Can I get one more? And I think it's about a new beginning, about starting something new. This could be you, Pisces, or your person, because both of your energies are here. What's going on for Pisces? going on for Pisces oops um, in love what's going on in the connection the Sun reverse well there might be a lack of clarity something that you're not really um, sure about or clear on there could also be a lot of unhappiness here or sadness um, the ten of wands is at the bottom of the deck so there could be um, I, I'm, I'm tense I'm tensing <laughs> I'm sensing tension. <laughs> Can't even talk. Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify and get some insight here. It could be that someone doesn't know what decision to make, perhaps because they're waiting for clarity, waiting for um, information or something like that. Can we get some clarity, please? Four Pisces. Four Pisces. Why is the sun reverse? Why is the sun reverse for Pisces? Why is the sun reverse? Justice, Libra energy. Well, justice is definitely, um, if anybody's clear on something, it's justice. Libra energy. Because justice is very objective. They have all the facts. Uh, they have all the evidence, right? Able to see things from all angles, all sides, very balanced. And able to take their emotions out of things. Um, this is not an emotional decision maker, not an emotional person, or not an emotional situation. This is very official by the book. So what's this about? Can I get one more first? The sun reverse. Eight of cups. Okay. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Pisces. And I keep getting these cards for every sign, no matter what, how many times I shuffle or cleanse the decks, what decks I use for each sign. I keep getting eight of cups, six of swords, the fool, the world, the tower, death. A lot of change, a lot of departures, transitions, cycles ending, cycles beginning. Everybody has a very similar theme going on and um, it makes sense because of what's happening astrologically. All of us are going to be having challenges that we're going to be dealing with, especially when it comes to relationships and the people that we interact with. So this doesn't surprise me. I feel like um, the sun reverse with justice and eight of cups, this could be interpreted in a few ways. Number one, someone's unhappy and is removing the emotional aspect out of their decision making they've, they've decided to leave walk away see what else is out there head in a new direction however i feel like this isn't a, an easy decision to make because i have the two of swords here kind of in limbo this will be a completely new start for someone um the other um the other uh scenario i guess 
that I'm seeing here is someone that doesn't have all of the facts. They don't have all of the answers. When the sun is reversed, I sometimes think of it as the moon. Um, there's doubts, confusion, there's a lack of clarity. And I feel like that's necessary for someone to fully decide if this is what they want. Um, I think this is tied to a past situation, but not only a past situation, yeah, but a situation that I feel that has happened for a while. This could be in a partnership here, a soulmate connection. I have the lovers, I have the six of cups, but in the middle of these two energies is the four of swords. So I'm getting healing, no action, no communication, uh, thinking. There's like a pause. Um, a lot of reflection about, I feel, a connection. So let's keep going here. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? What's this Two of Swords about, Spirit? What's this Two of Swords about? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Someone is feeling burdened. They're overwhelmed. Um, they could be dealing with a situation or with feelings that has... Uh, developed over time because the ten of wands for me as a reader is someone that has collected these wands over a period of time and the longer they carry them the heavier it feels um, they're almost at the finish line so there's like a you know there's a feeling of I'm almost there not for long or I'm almost done with this right I'm ready to set all of these down and have relief again or not feel so weighed down Someone's dealing with a lot, you or this other person, whoever's making this decision. I feel like this is their, their mind. Um, there's a lot on the mind. And I feel like that's why this is so difficult for someone. Can I get one more for the Two of Swords? Can I get one more for the Two of Swords? Death. What was I saying? I keep getting the same energy, Scorpio energy. Someone's really done. I feel like someone's ready for a change. Ready for the situation to be over. This feeling to be over. Um, because I think this is someone that is not interested in anything anymore. Nothing inspires them. Um, this could be somebody depressed. This could be somebody emotionally checked out, drained. They don't have anything else to give. They don't have any more attention or energy to give to something. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be just like Sagittarius, Cancer, and all the other signs that I did for this um, set of videos. Everybody's going through a similar situation. You're not alone, Pisces. Some of you are dealing with a Libra or um, a Scorpio. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups. This would take a lot of effort, this new beginning. This would take a lot of um, energy and focus. This might take time for someone to really have this Ace of Wands. Um, I wonder what your person is in all this. Who, who's who, right? Obviously, you would know more than me. But there's the King of Cups and Queen of Cups. So I feel like Spirit's kind of answering my question here. There is a, a partnership here. Whether it's a partnership this that that someone wants to walk away from or a partnership on the horizon because this king of cups is with this ace of wands so we'll see what you know how this kind of develops throughout the reading but um some of you maybe uh you are interested in someone new or you just want to see what else is out there for you in the future maybe you don't have an idea of who it is but uh, are hoping that there's something new if you are the one thinking about leaving a, a situation. Um, some of you could be in a connection right now where there's a lot of love, but that's not the problem. There's other problems that affect the connection to the point that someone's thinking about leaving. There's a lot of scenarios here that that could be relevant, you know, considering what I see. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. Can I get one more for this Ace of Wands? Can I get one more for this Ace of Wands? Three of Wands. See, I, I get the sense of someone kind of waiting to see 
what is coming in for them with the three of wands and will it make me happy the sun will it bring me clarity as well that could also be the case because i feel like someone doesn't know right now maybe this is someone waiting for confirmation waiting for a message to come in or it could be that they're waiting to see what else is out there for them that's the three of wands um is someone that's waiting for their ships to come in um, they've already taken a few steps and now they're waiting for something to kind of come in so that they can continue their work or continue what they're doing. Um, so let's see how you feel about each other because I I don't know what's going on here. Um, I don't know if you are already in a connection, if this is a past connection, if you're single. I keep thinking of Libra. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra. Or someone that has Libra in their chart. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to use some Oracle decks for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to have your energies on one side, Pisces, and your person's energies on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, Spirit, give me some insight into the energies between Pisces and this person. Tell me about the energies that Pisces is bringing to this connection. Paralyzing fear. Fear is holding you back. I think you're emo I, I think you're the one that's thinking a lot, Pisces, or perhaps there's a lot of thinking that you're doing. Um, I think you could be anxious about something. Oh, bottom of the deck, hidden motives. You could be anxious about someone hiding something from you, someone from your past. You could be anxious about being deceived or are suspicious of another person, perhaps. Okay, new beginnings wanted to pop up there. Tell me about the person Pisces is dealing with. Tell me about the person Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? This person that Pisces is dealing with, what are their energies at this time? This other person. Wedding bells, marriage, commitment, union. Is this person married? Are you married to this person? Victory lap at the bottom of the deck. Success, recognition, triumph, and balancing act. Patiently waiting. I'm really hoping you're not waiting for someone who is married. Let's see. Or waiting for commitment from this person as well. Can we get some insight, please, for Pisces? Some more insight, please. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection. Tell me about the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection. We need to talk. Okay, so yeah, you, I feel like you have something to get off your chest or you, maybe there's anxiety. I want to fix this, okay? Maybe there's a problem that you want to solve and so communication is the way to get there. That's my dog in the background, Henry. <laughs> okay, what else? What else for Pisces? Um, tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with. What are they thinking, feeling? Are they thinking, feeling? Expect a message. So you're both on the pa same page here. Communication is important. I wasn't honest with you at the bottom of the deck. Not sure what that's about, but I feel like maybe if this person has been deceptive, I feel like you've you've been suspicious or you've you've um you've been anxious about that. Almost like you kind of can sense it. Victory lap. What's going on there? Let's get a kipper. That doesn't feel right. Okay. Tell me about Pisces. More uh, insight, please, between the energies here between Pisces and this person. Journey bad health. That's that eight of cups and ten of wands again. Hmm. Tell me about Pisces. Some of you are very nervous. Like uh, I'm picturing someone that has 
an upset stomach. I think this might be you because you have paralyzing fear. Like you're nervous to hear something from someone. Almost like someone tells you we need to talk and then that kind of creates some anxiety. What do you what do you want to talk about? What's going on? You know? Tell me more about Pisces. Tell me about the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection. Message of concern. Yeah, you're very worried about whatever message is coming in or whatever is going to be discussed. Okay, tell me about the person Pisces is or will be dealing with. What are their energies? What are their energies in this connection? Gift. False person at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that obviously they want to give you something, make, make you some sort of an offer with gift. Um, but perhaps there's something off about that with a false person. This person hasn't told you everything. But I think you know that in some way or you're afraid to find out that they've been uh, deceptive. Tell me more. It's hurt you. It's, it's, it's hurt you or caused disappointment. The fact that this person might be uh, holding something back from you. Okay, let's do you first here, Pisces. Tell me about Pisces spirit what energies is pisces bringing to this connection what's going on with pisces ace of wands you're the one thinking about a new beginning are you worried about being dumped some of you could be worried about things not working out with this person if you are dealing with a married person that makes sense perhaps you don't want to hear that this person is still in a marriage because then that means that your connection has no future. Or at least it feels that way. Tell me more about Pisces. I feel like you want things to be resolved. There's something here where you would like things to maybe be resolved or, or have peace in some way. But I think you're more worried than anything about a conversation. Oh yeah, you're worried about a separation. Whether there's a separation that has already happened or could happen here. Maybe this person is, has, isn't interacting with you in the same way or something has changed or something happened between you. I think you're going back and forth though because if you're the one thinking about the new beginning, you might be wondering if this is worth it. Is it worth it to be so in this state of mind all the time? Um, is it worth it if I'm with someone that is deceiving me? Tell me about this uh, Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Wow, the Empress. And the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Seven of Cups. Okay, this is the energy I'm picking up here. Is I'm picking up the energy of someone who is discovering their worth. Discovering their value. These three women here. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the Empress. Whether you're male or female, does not matter. They're just, they just happen to be females in, this, in these pictures. Um, but these three have a lot to offer. Even the Nine of Pentacles, she to me is like a little empress. She's on the way there. Not quite, she's not quite Queen of Pentacles status, but very close. Queen of Cups. Someone intuitively is uh, realizing something, I feel. Or their emotions, um, they're tapping into their emotions. They're figuring something out. Seven of Cups here, yeah. Eight of Swords after that and, that, and Page of Swords. Someone's uh, figuring something out here. 
doing a lot of thinking. The eight of uh, the seven of cups and the eight of swords together. I think of someone that's like obsessively thinking about something, cannot stop thinking about something. They need to figure this out. Someone's like, uh, so I feel like whoever this is here, um, which I feel is you, Pisces, because the Queen of Cups is here. Um, I feel like if you are thinking about this new beginning, because I have the Ace of Wands here on your side, of course, flip the energies, but it's not, that's not my business. <laughs> if, if this is you, Ace of Wands, and you're thinking about a new beginning, it's because you're discovering something within you, something about yourself, about your worth, what you bring to the table, what you can offer someone. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. Typically, this is a card about recovery. You're recovering from a financial, financially difficult situation, a financial loss. The higher font, Taurus energy. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Let me five about the five of pentacles reverse. Okay, I'm getting this. Um, I got like a like a quick flash of a message. This is not for everyone. This is just maybe one or two Pisces uh, viewers that are watching. Some of you do not want to leave your spouse because of money. There's something to do with finances. Maybe you your job is not enough for you to support yourself or your kids or something like that. Or if you were to divorce, you would be financially hit in some way. Um, that's not for everyone, but I do feel that some of you are in that situation, which is why it makes everything so difficult because I feel like you need to find confidence in that you can do this. You're almost there or there's something that will happen that will get you there, Pisces. Um, the rest of you that are still resonating with this reading, um, I feel like there is some sort of official job offer or official government office signing of paperwork, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that will help you out of a situation that might have been difficult. I mean, for some of you, I'm thinking about like an actual job, a promotion or something like that. I feel like this is something you've been working for or maybe you've been studying and are, are going to graduate or maybe you've been focused on a project at work or something at work that has brought you into a promotion. Um, I feel like you're being observed. You're being recognized. I think something's coming in for you. For some reason, I'm not picking up relationship anything here like this is the page of cup yeah this is an opportunity wheel of fortune after that and it's going to be a nice surprise a good surprise a good you're going to be feeling very lucky or grateful that this opportunity has come your way pisces tell me about the two of cups reverse this could be a breakup or a disconnect, uh, the two of cups reverse between two people that normally see things eye to eye or are in a partnership. Why is the two of cups reverse? The high priestess and the two of pentacles. Once again, I feel like you are undecided because you don't know something. The high priestess, this is such you energy here, Pisces. <laughs> Uh, the, the high priestess is someone that, or it's, a, it's a card that represents knowledge, spiritual knowledge, spiritual abilities, psychic abilities, intuition, um, peeking beneath the veil, behind the veil, etc., etc., to get some sort of knowledge. I feel like you're trying to understand something, and since you don't know for sure, you cannot decide. Those of you that are worried about the marriage, divorce thing, and finances, it has to do with the house. Others of you, I feel if you have the like the opportunity at work or some sort of opportunity, some sort of loan or grant or money that comes in for you that helps you out of a situation, um, it's going to help you be more stable here. Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This is a very specific reading, Pisces. <laughs> um, for some reason, though, I'm starting to think that whoever this is, this is communicating with you might not be a romantic interest, but someone that you had a connection with at some time. So it could be a past partner, 
or a partner that you're with, but the there's not an emotional attachment anymore. However, there's still worry or anxiety here. A very small number of you do not want to leave this person or do not want to have a new beginning away from this person. But I feel like this, the more I'm doing this reading, the more I'm thinking that that's probably very, like a really small number of you. Because you're worried about a conversation. But I feel like you're finding your voice here or trying to help yourself here. Can I get one more for this two of cups reverse? This could also be a secret, the high priestess, that makes you doubt. Tell me about the two of cups reverse. No, this is this is tied to this new beginning. I feel like you are trying to figure out and you probably will want to have this conversation to decide. It's almost like this conversation will decide what you do or will help you decide what to do. You are trying to decide if you should leave a connection, I feel. Or if you should have a new beginning elsewhere. So what about this other person that you're dealing with? thinking about connecting with what do we need to know about this other person apparently they're going to contact you what do we need to know about this other person oh my goodness to the tower reverse ace of swords reverse what do we need to know about this other person's spirit death reverse scorpio energy so right away i'm getting someone that's trying to prevent something but um, they're maybe not being completely upfront. They're probably trying to prevent a partnership from ending or a tower from happening in a partnership. The lovers is at the bottom of the deck here. Gemini energy. I wonder why. Scorpio energy, very strong here. Tell me about the tower reverse. Why the tower reverse? Why is the tower reverse? Ah, oh, Four of Wands. Why is the Tower reverse? Four of Swords. Well, fours are a number about stability, endurance. Ah, oh, the Moon. There you are, Pisces. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So with the Moon and the Four of Swords, I'm getting quiet, secret, hidden. Uh, no communication, no action. I'm getting some something under the surface, something that is the opposite of the sun. Now this person has the moon and the ace of swords reversed. Be very careful. I feel like there's something you don't know about this person, but I think you can already sense it. That's why you're so worried. Four of wands. I'm getting something to do with a home here or, or a major asset. Something that would um, that is stable or was stable. And it's almost like if this was gone, someone would not have stability. Because some this person is prevent, trying to avoid a tower from happening. This person. Yeah, King of Cups and Death. I feel like this is like happening to your connection in the near future. Some sort of change, ending that will affect your connection. I'm still fi trying to figure out where, th where the heck this person fits in. Because I can't, I'm not picking it up. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse. What's going on here? 